It's not zooming. There were so many. We just saw kangaroos. What's up, P-Nation? We are in Sydney, Australia, and today we are starting our five-day road trip across Australia. We have really enjoyed our time in Sydney. It's been really nice to get into the neighborhoods and really explore the different types of places you can be in Sydney instead of just the downtown and what everyone normally sees. Our favorite neighborhood was... Watson's Bay. It was amazing. We took a ferry Absolutely there both adorable. times. We just wow. like... If we lived in Sydney, that's where we live. That's where I would want to live. I don't know <laughs> if we could afford it, but we'd try. <laughs> but now we're starting this road trip. We rented a car with... Europe car. And, and it's a brand new car. It's a brand new car and I'm very nervous to drive it. I hate brand new cars. I get just like really paranoid about everything. Cause you know, curbs, they can be high sometimes. Yeah. It's, just, it's very stressful, but it's okay. We're gonna get through this road trip. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> cute beach town before we go that way. So we've come to Granola Beach and it is absolutely adorable. You can kind of like walk out here towards the waves where the surfers are like getting all the action. And as you walk out here, you'll notice all these like little snails on the rocks. They're so adorable. rocks are literally breathtaking. They're purple and orange and white and yellow and it's so pretty and it's incredible that nature made this. So this is really great. You get to like walk out on these rocks and it's so beautiful and you get to be right next to the surfers because this is exactly where the waves are crashing. This is actually really cool. And we just saw this guy on a, we thought it was a paddle board. I guess it's just a surfboard. I think that is like the most incredible thing I've ever seen ever. that while we're here in Australia, Zach's little sister Caroline is with us to explore. You might remember her from some of our Bali videos and our trip to Philadelphia and New York City in the United States. So we're here in Cronulla enjoying the sun and the sand and the beach, but we also got some lunch and Caroline's gonna tell us what we got. So in true Cronulla fashion, we got a healthy bowl with sweet potato and cinnamon, chicken, quinoa and granola, beetroot hummus, um, tahini and honey mustard sauce and avocado and we have a lovely view while eating this is like super trendy super trendy we love it all right and that's it from Cronulla that meal was so good we feel so trendy and Australian <laughs> now we're heading from the beach to the mountains onto the blue mountains Okay, and on the way 
of the Blue Mountains, we stopped by the Sydney Olympic Park, which if you didn't know, they had the Sydney Olympics in 2000 and everything is still here. They're trying to use all the spaces and it's really conveniently placed right next to the highway. What are you doing? You had a spider on you. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so we've walked around and we found out that most of the stadiums are locked, like we thought, but Sydney had the greenest Olympics ever. They built all the stadiums with the intention to keep them in the community forever and that they would be powered mostly by renewable energy. And as we've been walking around, you can like see all of the names of people who had participated in the Olympics or like maybe helped out, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's like 15 carpenters and only one Vanderberg. But our names made it on the list. Zach has always thought the Olympics is like very fascinating. Probably because you're a sports fan, but I think it's just like the, the only event that connects literally in the entire world. And it's really cool to go to all the old stadiums and just like realize that everyone from around the world was in one place at one time. It's so cool. There were so many! <laughs> we just saw kangaroos and I'm getting emotional! We just saw kangaroos, I didn't see them. <laughs> I saw them and they were little and really cute! Oh my gosh! just made it to Melbourne. It has been a long time since you saw us last. We were about five o'clock actually yesterday, and now it's five o'clock the next day, and we are in this new city. Melbourne! We finally made it all the way to Melbourne. So here we are on Hosier Lane. It is a street dedicated only to art, and street art and graffiti type style art. It is really, really cool, and there's actually people here like making art right now. It's actually really awesome. Yeah, I'm really nervous leaning against the wall because I'm gonna get paint know. all over me. I don't wanna get wet. Sped down the raceway and now we are at the beach, Brighton Beach, and the sunset is about to be spectacular. I cannot wait to show you guys. This is going to be the most beautiful sunset the world has ever seen. for changing in. It's really, really cute. Every single one is a different style and like color scheme. 
and pattern and they are so adorable some have like flags on them like there's this one that has the Australian flag on it they are so cute they are perfect to take pictures with especially because they're situated right in front of the most beautiful sunset I think uh, we've ever yeah. seen in our entire lives. Being on this lives. bank of the bay, we can see the sun go over the mountain and it's just beautiful. It is truly breathtaking. We got really lucky on a day where it wasn't too cloudy, mm -hmm. but just like watching the paddle boarders and the dogs run and the city and the is in the distance. Boats. Oh and, my God, it was like, uh, it was perfect. It was a great way to end our first road trip day in Australia. No more shaking. That's oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No. You're adding pressure to me. Speaking of America, let's go to Chinatown. <laughs> Speaking of America, now we are going to Chinatown. Oh.